All right, a 25 kilogram bear slides from rest 12 meters down a lodgepole pine tree, moving with a speed of 5.6 meters per second just before hitting the ground. What change occurs in the gravitational potential energy of the bare earth system during the slide? What is the kinetic energy of the bear just before hitting the ground? And what is the average frictional force that acts on the sliding bear? Well, I couldn't find a, a bear sliding down a lodgepole pine, but I did find this example. All right, so here's my diagram. If I choose the very bottom to be my height of zero, I can say that the bear starts off with only gravitational potential energy, and then when it gets to the bottom, all of that gravitational potential energy has become kinetic energy and thermal energy. All right, so how much gravitational potential energy does the bear have at the top? That's MGH, of course. So there's my answer, 2,940 joules. How much kinetic energy does the bear have at the bottom? Well, one half mv squared. There we go, 392 joules. So how, what was the average frictional force? Well, if I recognize that the energy that becomes thermal is work done by friction. Kinetic friction is a constant force. So the work done by a constant force is just the force times the displacement. So the energy at the bottom, which is the thermal energy and the kinetic energy, was is the same as the energy that was at the top. So I'll solve this equation for FK. There's the algebraic solution. Plugging in my numbers comes up with my average frictional force of 212 newtons.